Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Today we're unboxing the Titan scooter carrier. It's just a cargo carrier with a ramp on the side. I don't have an electric scooter, but I do have a snowblower. We're going to open up this one box. That's what's going to be in the box. Since they were nice enough to send me one without an instruction manual, we're going to be kind of winging it here. So I got it upside down right now, so keep that in mind. This bracket... You undo that pin so it can fold up against your car, have that upside down, so when you flip it right side up, it'll be installed correctly. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to take out this pin, because I'm pretty sure there's a hole yeah, right here, so we're going to slide it in and repin it. In one of those bags, you'll have one of these pull lock pins, you'll have four bolts, two carriage bolts, two nuts, and two washers, and that locking bracket going to go ahead and assume that those four bolts go in those four holes right there. Those bolts, size 17, but 11 sixteenths could probably do the job. I know some people hate on heart coming out of Walmart, but uh, I got one of their toolboxes like for 120 bucks with so many pieces in it. and I've had that for two years, and it has come in handy more than ten times. So for the price, they haven't failed me yet, so... Yeah, they're just tools, and if I need new ones, well, I'll go get new ones. So just keep dancing around them, because as you tighten one, one gets easier to tighten again. So just make sure that they're as tight as they can get. They don't go flush, but they get pretty good. The bar had a really loose fit before the bolt, so happy to know that it's nice and tight, super snug. Alright, so now we got it flipped over right side up. We're going to go ahead and we're going to cut all the stuff off and remove the styrofoam. Alright, now you're going to need this piece. Right about in the middle, there will be a hole. We're going to screw it in. Oops. So it wasn't quite long enough, so I'm going to spin that back and give it some more room to thread in. I have it set to where the threads are just about to poke out. Make sure you have enough room. I started my living room, no going back now, but uh, we got to open the ramp out. Alright, we're going to need all this. And it's going to go in those last two square holes by the ramp. Should be on the left hand side. So you're going to take your carriage bolt, and a carriage bolt is the one with a square. You're going to line up the bracket and you're going to run the carriage bolts from the inside out. Alright, you can go ahead and put your washer and nuts on and get it all tight. And then your top one of these should go through the hole there. And the bottom one will just secure against it. Make sure you adjust your bracket well enough. Right now I have to adjust still because mine is not lining up with the ramp and pushing through. So I just loosened up those two a little bit, and then that gave me enough wiggle room, so now that I have it set with it through, I'm going to go ahead and tighten those back up. Still not perfect fit, but uh, I don't know, let's see if we can fix that. Alright, just, just needed a little touch up, but we're good now. And those are so you can ride with it up. Slide your anti-wobble bracket on like so, and then it's a size 17 to tighten them up once it's on the hitch. Hitch pin not included. That's what it looks like when you get it mounted. You're going to loosen up the screws on the anti-wobble bracket until it meets straight flush with your hitch, and then just tighten the screws up. Bolts. And remember, when it's upside down, it's opposite of righty tighty lefty loosey. All right, and then dance around the three bolts, because as you know, you tighten one, one gets easier to tighten again, so just hit them all a few times. As you can see, we're living in a winter wonderland. The, they didn't send me the instruction manual for this, so if the same thing happens to you, I hope you find this video. I hope it helps you. Happy holidays. Cheers more bids and vids, and as always, have a great day.